Hey, today I want to talk to you about 12 essential skills that every entrepreneur needs to have. My name is Lynn Schrader and I empower men and women to step outside of their comfort zone and begin living a life that they could have never imagined. Um, entrepreneurship. You know, not, I don't think any of us are born, we don't come out of the womb as entrepreneurs, but many of us have an itch uh, that just needs to be scratched at some point in our life. And a lot of times that itch leads us on into entrepreneurialism. Um, so let's talk about the US economy for just a second, just a second. Um, not That's not always a happy word, uh, economy, but the fact of the matter is, is that the US economy continues to fluctuate. It's just the way it is. Uh, we talk about a recession coming. It's just the way it is. It's very cyclical, isn't it? And again, the truth of the matter is, is that the business landscape, the terrain of the business world is very, very, uh, it, it is very, very unpredictable. And a solution often is entrepreneurialism. Uh, entrepreneurship really is an answer for many people, myself included. So I've got some um, important skills that an entrepreneur should have. Now they are in no particular order, and these are the ones that I just came up with, um, but I'm sure, I'm sure that there are many others, but these have been true to my own life. Um, uh, number one, I think this just may be one of my favorite because I really think that I was just born this way. And that is an entrepreneur needs to be curious. They need to be curious, meaning they need to take the stance of asking questions. Why? Why? I wonder why that happens that way or why is this not working or um, why are they doing that? Um, and, and really just be in a state of I wonder or a discovery zone in their head. And, and, a, and an entrepreneur needs to have a willingness to learn. And I think that's all tied into curiosity. Uh, they also need to make sure that they surround themselves. An entrepreneur should surround themselves with people who are smarter than they are, which breeds curiosity. Um, I wonder what they're doing that I can start to adopt or why is that working for them? Um, and, and really an entrepreneur is not afraid to try new things. They're very uh, innovative. So I think that's a very important trait of an entrepreneur is to be a curious person. Number two, number two is to be a resilient person. An entrepreneur needs to have thick skin. Uh, rejection is going to come their way. It's a name of the game. Uh, they're gonna experience burnout. They're gonna experience slow progress because things don't happen overnight. And they're gonna have to maintain uh, positivity and perseverance, determination, drive. Uh, they really need to become an expert at failure management because they will fail. You've heard me say this many times in my video and, and in my blogs that failure is a bruise, not a tattoo. And that's something that an entrepreneur definitely has to adopt. So they're, they're gonna fall down and they need to get back up again. Uh, number three is branding. An entrepreneur needs to be a, uh, have a great skill at branding, them, branding themselves. And they need to do it in a creative way, in a consistent way to brand, it, brand themselves uh, on social sites, and that means to the right audience as well. That means not uh, taking on a, 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 a chameleon stance and changing with the uh, changing with 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 the the flavor of the day. A entrepreneur sticks to a consistent brand, who they are, being true to who they are, authentically who they are. And when they do that, good things will come of it. Um, people wanna know, love, and trust you. So an entrepreneur knows that and they authentic, authentically stick to that branding and they do it consistently. They don't sway, they, they stay in their lane. At number four, an entrepreneur needs to communicate well. They need to communicate clearly, with purpose, with impact, they need to say what they mean and mean what they say. They just need to do that. Number five, 
An entrepreneur needs to be authentic. They need to be authentic. They need to be genuine. They need to, um, they know they need to know that people don't care what they know they know what you care and they adopt that uh, that mantra people don't care what you know they but they want to know that you care and that's what an entrepreneur an entrepreneur does they stay authentic to who they are number six number six is time management an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur needs to know how to manage their time, how to prioritize planning, how to time block, how to do daily and weekly and monthly checkoffs, how to uh, uh, use different apps in technology to help them time manage. Um, and remember, and an entrepreneur, entrepreneur must remember that Rome was not built in a day. They need to be patient and take a bite of the elephant one little chunk at a time, uh, not to eat the whole elephant at once because success takes time and an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur knows that. Number seven is strategic thinking. Figuring out in creative ways, figuring out creative solutions, thinking outside of the box, putting the puzzle pieces together. If this is not something that comes natural to you, which it doesn't come natural to me, then you reach out for help because there are people who can show you how to be a strategic thinker. Number eight, number eight is networking. An entrepreneur, entrepreneur needs to be a good networker. They need to uh, be willing to be a referral source, to be a recommendation source, um, to be an endorsement source, to take on mentors and uh, be a mentor, to look at inspiring people or to be inspiring to others. And an entrepreneur knows that success leaves clues. So they network and look for those clues. Number nine, number nine, an entrepreneur needs to be good at sales. Now, I know that the word sales can turn people, ooh, and excuse me, car salesman or insurance salesman, because I think you do a wonderful job. But for whatever reason, sometimes people get the picture of that type of salesman or maybe the, the uh, people who call you on the phone, the annoying people, and they get that in their head and they want nothing to do with sales. However, I train my team and my clients to think of it as you being a share person, not a salesperson, because if you love what you do, you're sharing your product or your service. Uh, bottom line, sales keep the lights on in our business. They. Uh, pay our bills. So we have to be good and willing to do reach outs, uh, to build sales funnels. Um, you just have to be willing to do that. Number 10, financial management. An entrepreneur needs to know how to manage their finances. They need to know um, to develop discipline, to be good stewards of their money. Um, if you lack financial savviness, then you are being put at risk for bankruptcy, a whole bunch of regret, and maybe going right back into the full-time work, workforce and getting away from your entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial gig. And if you're not good at financial management, then hire somebody. I personally have uh, someone who does my books for me because I'm not good at that. In fact, I just talked to her today. She was asking me about some um, some things that I had spent money on and, and she was kind of holding me accountable. So get a professional to help you if you need to. At number 11, stress management. The uh, entrepreneurialism comes with stress. Um, I just did a blog on this. You can ask yourself one question. Is what I'm stressing at, is this situation something that I have no control over? Or is this something I can do, I can take action on? When you ask yourself that question, especially as an entrepreneur, you will be able to manage your stress. You need to rechannel your stress towards positive things. 
Um, it's just going to come with the territory and an entrepreneur knows how to manage their stress. Last one, teamwork. An entrepreneur is known for teamwork. That means they're not holding things close and in a closed fist. They are willing to share their work. Uh, they're not closed fisted. They're giving. Um, they know that three heads is better than one and they love to collaborate. That's what entrepreneurs do. So not many people, not anybody's born to be an entrepreneur. It takes time, but here's the good news. I said I'd give you at the end of the video. You can learn these things. You can learn to build valuable skills. You can hone your strengths. You can improve your weaknesses. You can set goals that you want to accomplish and if you are fearful about doing those things, then hire a coach. Hire a coach to hold you accountable. I've had a coach for years, uh, different coaches, and I am a coach. So be willing to learn. Now listen, I could have gone into entrepreneurs need to know how to hire people, they, knew how, they need to know how to train people, etc. But I really do feel that these are the 12 things that need to happen first. I hope you got some value out of this. Um, take control of your finances and consider what you can do as an entrepreneur. If you got some value out of this, share this with somebody um, or leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this. Thank you so much for watching.